guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a health coach and I post videos on a high fat, nutrient dense way of eating. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, feel free to share and make sure to subscribe. So I got this idea from one of my Patreon supporters. He was asking me about duck and what the benefits of duck are. Apparently it's pretty common in the country he lives in, but he doesn't hear about it much in the mainstream or even in keto and carnivore circles. And that got me thinking, what other animal foods are we forgetting about? And that's what we're talking about today. So let's start things off with duck. So unlike chicken, duck is actually pretty high in fat. It is roughly even in grams of fat to grams of protein, obviously depending on what part of the bird you're eating and if you're including the skin or not. But either way, this is much, much higher in fat than chicken. And fat is a good thing, especially if you're on any form of a low carb diet. Duck is really high in B vitamins. It's also really high in selenium and really high in zinc. Now, the second part of this is rendered duck fat. Duck fat is one of the best sources of vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is so important for several of our organs. It also plays a critical role in bone health. And now I'm sure you saw from the graphic that I just put up on the screen that there was one food or I guess oil that's an even better source of vitamin K2. And we'll get to that in a second. Next up, I want to talk about lamb. I think lamb is often overlooked in keto and carnivore circles. I think this is mainly because it isn't as common in the US to eat lamb. It's not as readily available, but here in Australia, lamb is everywhere. And in terms of nutrition, lamb is comparable to, if not better than beef in several ways. It's high in zinc, selenium, creatine, phosphorus, and CLA. And like I said, it is really, really common in Australia. And I think it's a shame that people don't talk about it. Lamb is also very fatty, which again is great if you are on any version of a low carb diet. And it's pretty much always good quality. Most lamb are raised completely on pasture. And then we have chicken feet. If you're looking at a way to get more collagen into your diet, chicken feet are a great option. You can throw them in your bone broth or just fry them up. And honestly, I know they look pretty groupy, but they do taste good. And then we have cod liver. So in previous videos, I've talked a lot about the benefits of cod liver oil, but is cod liver itself nutritious? The answer is yes. It is a fantastic nutrient dense food. It's very high in fat. It's very high in omega-3s, DHA and EPA, but it's also high in vitamin A, vitamin D, as well as iron. Now, personally, I haven't tried cod liver. I've only had cod liver oil, but I have heard from several people that it actually tastes pretty good. Sardines. These are an inexpensive, easily accessible, nutrient dense food. Again, they are really high in omega-3s, DHA and EPA, but they are also a great source of calcium, which is something some people worry about when they switch to a keto or carnivore diet. You can pretty much find sardines anywhere in the world. Always make sure to just get them in spring water and not in any other oil. Now, the flavor of sardines is where we lose a lot of people but there's no denying that they are super nutritious. Next up, oysters. So again, a great, great, great source of omega-3s. They are also one of the best sources of zinc. 100 grams is equal to about 600% of the RDI. Not that the RDIs are anything to follow strictly, but it just goes to show how much zinc is in oysters. They're also a really great source of iron, thiamine, and vitamin D3. And now emu oil. <laughs> so this is a really, really random one, but I actually have one viewer who asks me about this pretty frequently. So hey, Larry, if you're watching, this is for you. As you may have seen when we talked about duck fat, emu oil is the best, the absolute best source of vitamin K2. Emu oil can also be used topically on your skin and hair. It can help moisturize your skin, heal sunburns, 
and fix split ends. And finally, I wanted to finish with eggs. Eggs are a food that is so, so common, but have been heavily demonized over the last couple of decades. And it's such a shame. They are extremely nutritious and something that we should all be taking better advantage of. Depending on the quality, they can be a good source of omega-3s. They also contain vitamin K2, selenium, and choline. While all types of eggs are nutritious, pastured eggs will be higher in omega-3, vitamin A, and vitamin E. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any other forgotten animal foods, underrated animal foods that you can think of. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.